the sewing make that I want to share with you today is McCall's 8118 and I made view A and I made it out of a faux suede fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics and it was actually labeled as being home decor fabric. So I thought that that was really cool and when I touched it, it was really soft so I thought it would be really perfect for this pattern. So one thing that I like about this pattern is that it is rated as easy. There are only three pattern pieces, so I totally agree with that. As far as the features are concerned, there is an elastic waistband, and then there is a front and a back overlay, and the garment ties on the side. Now, one thing that I was absolutely surprised about is when you look at the garment on the pattern, it looks like a skirt. But as I got ready to make the garment, I realized that it is actually a skirt. So one thing that I thought was really cool about it is the overlay in the back covers up the shorts. So when you're wearing the garment, it looks like it's a skirt from the front and even from the back. I like that. I thought that that was so, so cool. So yes, I really love this sewing make. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you do decide to make this is the overlay or the tie when it's on the side and it's tied up, the wrong side of the fabric will show when you actually tie the ties. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now I will go ahead and show you what this skirt looks like on with me moving in it. Okay, so my last sewing make is going to be this top that I made, which is the Grace Top from Friday Pattern Company. I actually made this top before, so this is my second time making it, but this time I made an adjustment. So I will go ahead and share with you the adjustment that I made to this top. I actually really like the top. The only thing I want to change is the high-low hem. I think I would like the top better if the hem was more even. So what I decided to do was to just try to take the bottom off and straighten everything out. So all I did was I um, lined up the armhole edges right here. And then you can see this is the, the top and it's shorter and then this is the back and it has the longer hem. So anyway, I am going to make sure everything is pretty much lined up here. And then I measured from my underarm down. I don't want it to be too short, so I'm not gonna cut at this lengthen and shorten line. I'm gonna go a little bit lower, and I'm just gonna take this ruler. I wanna make sure my line is straight, so I'm gonna line it up here. I just make sure that this line is this number 29 that I'm on that same line all the way across. So I'm going to line that up and then I'm going to draw a line or actually I could probably just cut it. And should I do the line? Maybe I'll draw it with a pen first. So I'm going to draw it with a pen. You can tell I'm just winging this, but this should be a simple alteration so hopefully I won't have any trouble and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this out and if it doesn't work and it's too short I can always add the hem back on and if I don't add the hem back on I could just add some length to the hem let me cut a little bit more get this oh I really need to change my blade so I could keep these pieces and label them but I don't think I want to because I'm pretty sh pretty sure that I don't want that high-low hem. So anyway, this is it. This is the alteration. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this up. I noticed there's this little triangle here. So I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I don't know if I should straighten this out or not. But you know what? I'm not gonna straighten it out. I'm just gonna sew it up and see what, what it looks like in the end. And then if I have to make another alteration later or when I make the pattern again, then I'll do it at that time. All right, so let's see how this turns out. 
Okay, so I actually like the new adjustment. It turned out just fine. Like I mentioned, I was concerned that the hem would kind of hang differently or kind of, you know, be a little wonky because there was the point on the side, but it turned out that the hem was just fine and I'm happy with it. Now, I like to wear the top tucked in, but I did show you what it looked like tucked out just because, you know, I wanted you to see what the hem looked like. So the only thing that I did after I made the adjustment was that I just made a narrow hem around the bottom and that is it. So I am really happy with this top and I think I will wear it more often than I would have if I just left the back hem hanging lower than the front. Okay, so before I go, my love share. So, you know, in the English language, we write from left to right when we're writing something. Something I learned recently is that in other languages such as Hebrew and Arabic, they write from right to left. I thought that was so interesting, so, so interesting. So I wanted to share that with you. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.